Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. We're landing on a new planet because that last one was hostile as all hecklicious and the sentinels were scary and nothing really was there except some weird elements. Now there are sensors going off on this planet so I hope that this one is not equally aggressive and angry although it may be judging by the strange one I hear in my headset right now but it looks like there's a lot of good elements and hopefully we can grab some delicious stuff. It's a fair planet with standard, deficient, and undetected fauna. All right. Probably not the best place to be, but look at the views. This is our stargazer planet, if you will. And hopefully we can get some good stuff and get the heck out of here and move on to the next Atlas interface. Welcome, all of you. Especially those of you who have seen every single episode. Congrats. That's a lot of No Man's Sky. That's a lot of my voice. That's a lot of talk about Tuggles and mining and magic. I hope you had fun because we are still going Strong. Make sure that like button if you're enjoying. This place has been torn to pieces. Let's go in here and see what we can find. There's a cargo drop with nothing. Damaged machinery with an already known whatever. And a cargo drop with nothing. What a beautiful place. Alright, let's try to do one of these skills here. I glimpsed the crimson orb. Returning user identify. Okay, well, we just have to analyze the data log. Something has been left that will aid me on my journey. Probably not. And I know it. Uh, that's such a poopy thing. When you already know what they're trying to tell y'all. Know what I mean? Know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Alright. Let's uh, see what we can explore. I need some iridium. There's a random a hole in the ground. That looks a little bit spoopy down there. I'm not gonna go. Whoa, okay. I, ho hold up, little man. Where are we going? Alright. Just across the river bend. There is a beautiful pile of plutonium that is great for launching our lovely Ant-Man ship off the surface. It looks like there's some gl glorious, gorgeous golds over there. I'll head that way. Also a heridium deposit, so this is working out Peach Akeem. Uh, a beautiful planet for us to begin today on. We'll load up with plutonium. We'll grab our stuff and we will warp zone out of here uh, as quickly as we can. I'm not sure how much heridium we need. But we should be alright. Nice, uh, calm planet to do our collecting on, which is always enjoyable. Man, that last one was ridiculous. I heard this crazy terror story on the giant bomb cast where one of the dudes got, like, basically stranded on a hostile planet and he had to keep, like, going and get getting a few elements and then dying. And then going and getting his body and getting a few more elements and dying because after mining he would, you know, get killed so freaking quickly. What else do I need? Uh, to build, I got the vapor, now to build this I need, oh, some zinc, okay. This is not zinc, but we'll take it. Looks like it's a, some healthy gold, a healthy chunk of gold. Yeah, it is, cool. You can always use the money, honey. I won't be, like, super perfect about mining. I know it's not the most enjoyable thing in the world. Uh, but we'll do it. Yes, man. Yes, ma'am. Open up all of the no man's land. Alright. Just, I don't really need the cash. Cause I, we got our ships. So it's like, what are we going to buy? But I guess it's good for buying, like, certain elements that we might need. It's probably good for buying if we eventually, you know, want more, a, a bigger, better ship. You know, now that we have uh, basically what's basically like a $6 million ship, I wonder if we're going to start seeing, like, $10 million ships or whatnot. Uh, and then the other thing is, um, if we want more, uh, upgrades for our skeletal system, otherwise known as our exoscoot, uh, just called exoscoot? That little exoscoot, it's like, you ever in, when you're, like, in elementary school and gym class, you ever have those little, like, they were, like, square boards on four wheels, and you could, like, ride on them or slide on them, I don't even know what they were called, like, oh, what were they called? Like, little... I, I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about. I think you do. I think I'm describing it appropriately. There's also a moon nearby. And this planet seems a little bit uh, devoid of delicacies. So we may want to hit up the moon. You know, see if the moon man's there. Wallace, Gromit. Any cheese for our, uh, our coffers. One of my favorite words that I never used until I did YouTube. Let's add more of this gold to our coffers. 
La da 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 da. All right, let's scan. I don't think this planet really seems to have a lot of zinc going on. Although there looks to be a big molten rock a lock over here. So let's go check this out before we head back to our ship. Oh, it's just more gold. Can't really complain about that. Okay. Something down here. Ooh, I haven't seen one of these in a long, long time. We'll open it up. Memories of the past greet us at last. All right, what you got to say to me? Rock mama. Tell me more about the language of the Gek. I've learned the word for traitor. I feel like that's a pretty good word to know, especially since a lot of our interactions involve buying and selling. All right. For a planet devoid of much life, there's a lot of squawking going on. I feel like I'm in uh, Donkey Kong... Uh, what's that level called with the awesome music and the bird? I played Donkey Kong Country 2. You know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, let's gather this gold and get off world. I need some zinc. I really want to teleport to the next dimension, new galaxy, intergalactic planetary. It'd be aw what if we found a planet that literally, like, you know there's iron everywhere, it's like an abundant resource? What if we found a planet that literally had just like these mounds everywhere, like it looked like it seriously had chicken pox. Because it, <laughs> it just had gold mounds everywhere. How valuable and cool and probably unlikely would that be? Though given that this is algorithm based, there's I think a potential for pretty much anything to happen uh, in terms of a planet. Like obviously there's like quadrillions of planets, so you may be searching your entire life to find what we're talking about here. But I think it might eventually be possible. Alright. Hello, flower. That's carbon. Um, let's head back to our ship. And get off this very barren world. Because there's not a whole lot. There's another ship here, but like... This isn't a moon, it's a planet. And you'd think that the moon would... The moons would be the ones that have this problem of like nothing on them. But sometimes, in fact, it's actually the planets that have not a whole lot going on. Another gold mound. Gosh. Uh, back when I thought gold was, like, the coolest thing ever, I would have gone and gotten it. But now I'm just more curious with getting our requisite uh, iron to get the heck out of here. Life support power low. There we go. Just see how to deal with that. Uh, when I was taking off from the last planet, that vicious planet, it was 323 degrees Celsius, which is insanely hot. Like, stupid hot. All right, so this planet doesn't seem to have a whole lot going on. And it's not very interesting. So let's uh, fuel up the launch thrusters and uh, head for the stars. And there's a moon. I think it's... Uh, I don't know. Which, it's one of these. It's is it the, one of these I've not discovered yet. I've discovered that. Here is this big planet. It's this thing. Here we go. This is the undiscovered Dishunyerv Yohas moon. So we'll go there and hope that there's zinc. This moon looks like it has more freaking water and stuff than uh, the main planet. Although I guess moon in this No Man's Sky really doesn't mean the same thing as the moon in, in my world the land of us. Alright, so there's some pits of water. And then there's also... Uh, an escape pod? What is that? Rock. Alright, let's just touch down and see. Peridium. It's the blue planet. Um, blue. It's parched sands weather. Okay. Platinum! I think the uh, the angels of mayhem are going to get pissed at me if we do that. So, there was a big goblet of stone. What is this? Is this an iron rock? Aluminum. Man, aluminum. 
that's not what I need. Okay, we need the golden flower, otherwise known as Zinklicious. And there's also a stone up there, so we'll go grab our Zinc. Hopefully we can warp before it's too late since this is a very uh, parched sand kind of place. I think that should be enough, actually. Yep, antimatter is made. And now I need a Thymium, and we can get that from space, so I'm not even too worried. But let's just go see what's over the hill. More than that. Oh, okay. You want to be like that? I see. Yeah, we'll just charge it all the way up. Um, very fertile planet here. Oh, there was a an alien stone, right? Yeah. Teach me your ways. Under pressure. Yeah, I, this galaxy, or this uh, solar system, has been kind of a lame one. I mean, I guess I should take that back. We found Ant, and I don't know how anything could be more magical than finding Ant, so I, I really shouldn't complain, but I'm just not a fan of these this planet, so let's, let's, let's leave it. Love it and leave it, okay? We'll go get some Thamium in space. That'll be really, really easy. And then we'll warp and get another uh, solar system up in this episode. How's that sound? Does that sound like a plan you can believe in? A man you can believe in? Where was that gold? Oh, it's way over there. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Don't quit it. Just forget it. All right. I'm sure there'll be zinc at the next place. Because I am ready to move on to the stars, Jesse James, and we're out of here. Alright, Night Sky says hello, and now we just need to find some asteroids. Like, uh, here, let's zoom towards these guys. There we go, baby. Bam, yum. Bam, yum. Bam, yum. Bam, yum. All right, you guys ready to warp? Let's do it. Still short on that uh, iridium and copper. But in the meantime, let's get the heck out of here. All right. I can't, I can't do I can't do the double warp to Sogbajargagarb, but I can do this to Mangkodon with four planets, two moons, 96 light years of travel. Let's super jump and I'll see you there. Holy the crap! We enter a battle. I don't like this. You guys look like good ships. There's a, okay. Whoa! They're going to a distress signal. I'm going to this. Whoa! Where do we go? Um, that one looks cool. Dinner Woodress. Diner. It's a diner. Diner in the sky. We found the restaurant at the end of the universe. Let's head there and avoid this battle. Whew. Okay, this planet looks pretty interesting. It's like red and green, although, uh, sometimes that's deceptive. So we shall see what is beneath the surface in three, two, one. Right now it looks like a SpaghettiO planet. I would, I would take some spaghetti at the diner here. Ooh, it's very green at the diner woodress. It's like the wood resting diner. Okay. All right. I like the looks of this. It could be a jungle planet. The diner. Oh, it almost looks like an Aztec ruin planet. Check this out. Oh, it's like covered in a swamp. It's a giant swamp world. Dude. Hello, swamps. Let's land here at the swamps. They got some mush spaghetti sauce waters. And a swamp land at the Damoncha Badlands. Acid rain. Lacking flora, scarce fauna. But what did you expect to find in the swamp, baby? Uh, there's a pickled pepper of uh, something over here. I got antimatter, though. That's great. It's a great get. And electron vapor. Dang, those are good finds. Aluminum. So much aluminum. This is a really cool looking world, though. And there's zinc here, so baby, it's a good deal. I kind of want to go into the swamp waters and see what's under there. You think there's anything underwater? 
Anything in the swamps? Let's go deep sea dive. Oh, there's some. What is this? Let's go. Okay, I got, wait, hang on. No, hold on. I have to charge with the rebreather. Uh, there. And let's go. What was that green? What is this alert? What is that? There's another one down there. This is really weird. Okay, breathe. Aquasphere? <gasps> what the heck is that? Okay, carbon, whatever, but I... What the, what the heck? Okay. Aquasphere? Extremely valuable curiosity. Ooh. It's just like a weird warning. I got nervous. There's a bunch of them, and they're all valuable hidden here. Oh, this is like deep sea diving. We're like freaking divers. Oh, no. My inventory is full. Um, transfer, 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 transfer. Okay. This is awesome. We're like freaking Jacques Cousteau. 20,000 leagues under the acid rain sea. We're looking for these. Gr oh, there's. Oh, my God. This is like <gasps> underwater money pits. This is amazing. This is so cool. This is going to give us cash so quickly. I got to go up for air. Okay, hang on. Where is it? Right there. Give it to me. Hey. Can I have it? It's like stuck. I want... Okay, I definitely am highlighting it. Okay, I'm going to die. Please grab it! Okay, they don't want me to have that one. Okay, let's get some air. Ugh, the blood water is burning my brain. Where am I? Oh, there. Oh, God. Coated in slime at the swamp. The swamp of the world. Let's let that charge back up. No, I'm underwater? What the heck? Hey, stay. Keep your head up. Oh, my God. Okay, and we're back. Hello. Need those toxic symbols. Yes. There is more. Alright, I think that's the one that we just couldn't get. But maybe it's a different one. This is actually really kind of fun. This is one of my favorite things I've done. I like this. I like that we're like a deep sea explorer. Look, it's been ensconced in a weird gulag of tentacle terror. Uh-oh. We've got piranhas. Ancient space piranhas. Look at that. These things. We're going to be rich, baby. Five of these, and you've got like 100k real quick. You think that's underwater? It looks like it could be. Or is it above? I can't tell. Huh. Let's go venture and check it out. And that way we can see if there's any more as we move. That was really cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. You can jetpack underwater. It just doesn't work as well as you might think. Ugh, it's so gross here, man. Is that probably more aluminum? Probably. Most planets are very uh, similar with the elements that they hold. What are these? Light rods? Oh, it was a type of flower. Uralmum. Sounds like some sort of cream you put on your bottom. Don't get too much uralmum. Gonna hurt you. Okay. Oh, there's another aquasphere. Oh, baby. Okay. I love that when we come out of the swamp, it's like so gross. I mean, I'd hate it if I was really here, but I like the fact that like it's kind of like a cool little thing, you know? All right, where was that aquasphere? Where was it? It's like right here. Oh, there it is. And there's a bu Oh my god, this really is. Yeah, these really are the money pits. I love how we can just like shoot underwater here. I mean, this is the coolest diner ever. Oh, that's nothing, okay. Aquasphere. They're like hidden under the water, which is kind of cool. Okay. All right, 
Alright, where is that the marker I'm moving towards? Did I lose it? Okay, I gotta... Charge up! Okay. Where was it? I wonder if they're only on... The aqua things are only on toxic planets. I don't know where it, remember there was a green check that said I was like a minute away, but where the heck did that go? Could have sworn it was this way. I think there's more under here. Hey, hold your breath. Gloop. Uh, iron. No, I uh, no. What happened to the the question mark place? Hey, little buddy. It's a lot of plutonium. Oh, there it is. Yep, it's underwater again. Okay. I gotta charge up my aquasphere. I hate that we have to use zinc for this, but it's okay. Um, I should... Uh... Let's get rid of some iron. I need I need more thamium and then we'll build another warp cell. Look at those guys wiggle. What up, fish? Oh. I don't know why it's saying two minutes. There should have been one like close by. Is it this one? Yeah, this is the one I missed. Okay, this one only 56 seconds. So we'll go here versus the two minute away one. It's totally underwater. There is no way it's not. It's another freaking underwater freaking palace like we found that one time and couldn't figure out how to get in. These mushrooms or eggs? Mushrooms. Arsenite. That sounds poisonous. Don't eat the arsenite, please. More zinc. Can always use the zinc. Okay. <gasps> An underwater alien ruin? Oh, dude, this has been a really cool place. I'm like beaming it. The whispers of the Viking. Yes, give me your strength and your knowledge. Beautiful. That's cool that it's underwater, though. Blob? Oh my god, we learned the word for blob. That's quite impressive, my friends. All right, now where is that other place? There's like two minutes this way. I don't know why it's not popping up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Let's head there. This one could be an underwater palace. Who knows? My aeration is still fine. It's definitely underwater again. All right. In the meantime, we'll swim through the fish. It's weird when it gets dark down here. Like, this must be terrifying. Are those guys lighting up? They kind of look like they were for a second. Yeah, this one's deep underwater. This is a cool planet. This is one of the coolest planets I've seen. The swamp world with the underwater money pits. And the underwater alien stones of doom. Whoa, it looks like we have to go way underwater. Okay. It's in like an underwater cove. Underneath this ridge. What do you think it's going to be? It's... Oh, it's not under here. Okay. Uh, let's not go here then. Let's go around it. Okay, okay. Catch our breath. Oh, it's here. <gasps> Another, oh my god, underwater aliens lived here. This is crazy. Oh, 
The Viking. They, they must have been like fish Viking. Or something of the sort, huh? Interesting. What word did we learn now? Respect. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. On the Swamp World, you'll listen to me. Deep below the waters. Alright. Let's get up here for a little breather. Ugh. It is toxic as all heck out here. We're very far from our ship. Maybe I can find a place to call it. Oh, that's a big boy. What up? Any more of those? Uh, oh, yes. The money honey returns. This literally is like someone dropped all of their jewelry into the ocean and we're like diamond diving. You see that story? It was on, I, I saw it on Twitter about the dude who was like a, a fisherman from the Philippines and he literally had a $10 million diamond underneath his bed for 10 years and didn't even know. Can we like bust through this? Where is it? Okay, well, let's just let that one pass then. Go grab these others. Aqua, aqua, please come fast. You can hear like it when like, like water is starting to get inside my head. Not a good feeling. No! Um, dump the iron and Crolium, one Crolium is worth so dang much. Okay. Grab that one. And there's one more close by. Where is it? That's the one I couldn't grab. Then there's this one. Okay. It's hurting my head to be down here so long. But we got to grab this stuff. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There. Come on. I can feel it. I can taste it. It's right there. You see it, right? There it is. Oh, I'm, I'm freaking... Okay, I'm dying. Um, Drop the carbon. There we go. Another one of those. And there's... Oh, ow, my head hurts. Ah, please don't be stuck. Oh, my God. What the heck happened? What the heck happened? There, okay. <laughs> that terrified me for a second there. I was like, oh, my God. Imagine being stuck forever. Um, I thought there was one more. It's okay, that, that one. There's some other one over here. Oh, well, I don't think I have even enough inventory space. So we raided the... Oh, God, there's so many. Okay, let's just re refill stuff then. Um... Crap, crap, crap. Oh. Okay, let's get rid of a bypass chip so then I can make another electron vapor. And, uh... Okay. We're about to die, so we should probably get out. There we go. Alright. My water is breathing again. Okay. Where are you, my vile friends? There! Yep! Alright, so we raided all this stuff, we've got a bunch of goodies, we can build more warp cells, check out more planets, and continue on our freaking interstellar quest for glory. In the meantime though, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to hit that like button if you're having fun and enjoying the videos, I hope you are. This is one of the coolest and most unique planets that I ever did find, so I'm glad that we did it together, because uh, it's pretty freaking cool, and I wish I could swim down! Uh, you like won't. Uh, oh my God! Go. Okay, he, he's not gonna get it. Oh, that one's that one's lost forever. But uh, we got space for one more. So let's go grab some over here and dump the iron. And I would love to sell some. Oh, I got two. I got space for two. Sweet. So as our toxic levels rise and our freaking. Underwater brain is about to fry. Thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I will grab more of these aquaspheres and we'll go sell them at the uh, Galactic 
trade network for a bunch of money and we'll be rich. But first, let me get the last, where is it? There it is. And now I gotta get out of the water because it is burning from the toxic, yeah, we about to, we about to just die. So, yeah, I got it, all right. Critical damage, so we're just gonna chill here. It's storming. I gotta get back to my ship, I'll go get to my ship. And uh, we'll dry off and pick this up next time. Until that time, though, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoying this series. Love you. Drink so much, y'all. Thanks again. Until next time, we will see you all later.